guys welcome to world of braiding and extensions now today we've got something exciting as always for you we are really super excited so my name is Joy Fido and welcome on board so what's today all about we we are bringing something we think you might really love to see and hear about and what is this you know on our channel we wear a lot of wigs. I'm sure you've seen me with so many variety of wigs. So what we've done, we've started getting into the habit of stitching our own wigs. But that's something we've been doing now for quite a long time. Most of the wigs you see me wear are the wigs that I made myself. Um, reason is we, we then didn't feel like getting it out there yet because we've been busy with so many other things. But now we're ready to do that. But this is not what the video is about. Today's video is about showing you how to care for your wig. Now, why is this so important? Because we've had to be helping as many clients as possible out there who, yes, they get the wigs from so many sources. Um, then it comes to that little matter of how do I care for it? So it's one thing to wear wigs and look glamorous in one minute and Two days later, you don't know how to care for it. And then people end up losing this expensive wigs, good quality hair, have no idea what to do. So that's what we're bringing you to today. We're bringing you how to care for your wig because we know so many people out there are really into wigs just like we are. And so for you to wear your wig and then not know what to do with it, I think that's a problem. Why? Because you know how we go to hairdressers and get them to wash our hair and style our hair and do different things? Now, if you're wearing this wig, it needs the same thing. It needs attention. It needs to be cared for. But the beauty of it is you can just take it off and give someone and say, could you care for it? Now, we want to show you how you can care for it yourself. So, today is about caring for your wig, caring and maintaining your wig. Okay, so this is the wig we're going to be working with. It's one of my wigs. Um, but from looking at this, you can see how dry it looks. looks really dry. It's a full, full lace wig. And we want to get it back to a really, really um, silky, smooth, soft feel. So that this hair can be used again and again. Like, I absolutely love this hair. But when it's in this state, it's really of no use to me. So... We're going to try and show you how this is going to be taken care of. And then we'll show you the materials we're going to use. So first is argan oil, which is a conditioner. And right here is another one. Okay, so our conditioner is another conditioner called Kukui oil conditioner. So remember we've done argan oil conditioner and then kukui oil conditioner those are the two conditioners we're going to be working with and then here we have a coconut oil sh conditioning shampoo so for the shampoo you can always use moisturizing shampoo conditioning shampoo this particular one says for dry damaged hair or color treated hair so you can see that's the whole point we're trying to solve with this this hair is very dry so one will bring back moisture to the hair and then in addition to that we need like a serum and this particular one is from l'oreal elvive okay for the ingredient oh, no ingredients for the materials we need we want to be sure that these conditioners are really really moisture based conditioner again they are saying um damage brittle tresses extra uh, powerful formula with argan oil or moroccan oil it's got silk proteins it helps to intensely hydrate and put moisture in the hair so that's the whole point of what we're doing here so if you don't have this where your base do not give yourself any stress just look for conditioners that's got a lot of moisture in it a lot of hydration in it and that will put moisture back into your wig so the other material we need is is a large tooth comb because it's going to comb through the hair easily nicely for us and then just a bag a carry carry bag shopping bag whatever bag 
it's just a basic polythene bag this is going to help hold all that moisture in it for us so use any bag that you find available and then the next big thing is our container just a container to put our hair in when we're ready okay so um the next thing now is a kettle we use that to boil the hot water ready to get the shampoo process done and what we've done we we'll put the hot water in the container so hot water is right in here you can see from the side and it's coming out so right next to me is my helper um if you're used to this channel you would have seen zina but today she's just practically helping to get this done because zina is quite good at doing this conditioning process so i'm going to hand over this process to her and then we'll take it from there so here you go okay so we're adding some cold water into the water that we poured in there the warm water that we poured in there we just want it to be a bit lukewarm yes oh it's still a bit hot okay so we've got the wig in the warm water now and then we're just swelling it around to completely soak the water. So just a little drop of shampoo, that's all you need. You don't want too much. And why is that? Because what shampoo does, it actually dries out your hair. So for that reason, we don't want shampoo to take whatever little moisture that was in the hair out so you only need just a little bit to take a hint of the dirt away and that's all okay so you you sort of like squeeze the water out of it remember we just put a little bit of shampoo not too much and we try and just rinse it out so that it's not stuck in the hair and we just squeeze it out a little bit and that's it done okay so now we're gonna comb through the hair this is where you need a large tooth comb because you don't want any tangles in the hair there's tangles and it's gonna start getting tangled when we're ready to treat it so comb it through okay so we're still combing through but remember when we used that shampoo it was absolutely a sulfate free shampoo so remember just focused on getting a sulfate free shampoo so that it doesn't dry out the hair so now you comb it through properly and the containers empty now we remove the water so this is where we start applying the conditioners so a nice dollop of the kukui Kukuish conditioner. So when you applying that, focus on the ends first, because that's where the dryness may start showing itself, and the freeziness. So the conditioner starts with the ends, and then slowly get into the major, the other parts of the hair. Next is a argan oil conditioner. Again, look at the size that we're using. Good enough size. What you're going to find is these conditioners that are really good. They are quite expensive. So if you are in the UK, these ones, you get them in Boots or Superdrug. Um, other places, remember what we say, if you don't have these brands, just look for something that gives you a lot of moisture. Okay, so once you finish applying both conditioners, remember it's two conditioners we're using here. You kind of wrap the hair nicely, look at how it's going. And then it goes into itself. And then you wrap the, the wig over. So you kind of like cap it all in. And what you're gonna find is it starts to work with itself right there. 
and that's when you bring your bag and you put it in remember the bag will carry just paper bag any bag will do and you tie that up see that nicely tied dropped into the container okay so a kettle of hot water you just pour it down and then you insert your wig that's already tied in the bag so when we do this the whole point of the hot water is to cook it's a bit like you're steaming this hair in the hot water so it helps to hold it all together and the heat that's coming from the hot water will just help to um, put the hair together and kind of um, soften it and the products and the hair will all soften and become fresher and better and that's the whole idea of doing this okay so this particular container we got does have a cover now this container doesn't have to be this particular one any container that this bag will fit into is fine and the water doesn't need to cover the whole bag as long as it's inserted in the hot water that is okay as well but because we have a cover we're going to just cover it so this thing all stays inside and that's our treatment done so what's going to happen is this will stay in this water overnight so you can leave it overnight or if you need to use the hair sooner or earlier during the day you can keep it for about six hours five hours but we just enjoy just leaving it overnight so the work is fully done and by the time we bring it out it's completely softened and the, the textures are a lot fresher and better and it feels like a brand new hair so you're gonna see what we'll do next okay so this is um, another unit we had put through the exact same treatment that we just showed you now and what we are going to do now we're going to style it ready for use but before you do anything to it so again this is the hair you can see the whole volume of this hair from hopefully you can feel or see how soft <laughs> i don't know how you see soft but this hair is really soft and luxurious can you see that oh falls off my <laughs> A training head so it's not sitting well on it but that's it yeah so that's how voluminous this hair is and the softness can really be felt it's so luxurious mm, whatever I can want to say but anyway what do we need to get the the next day started that's where we need the serum and this particular serum is from L'Oreal there's so many other serums out there Feel free to use them. So when the hair is still a bit damp, immediately you take it out of that um, container, which is what we've just done. You rinse it with water. Rinse it with just cold water. Warm water. You rinse it with warm water and then you hang it up. Now the minute you hang it up, it's still damp and dribbly. That's when you apply this on it, the serum. Just apply a little bit of serum on it, not too much. So what that helps to do is just helps to cut it up right away and then it's not going to fray and freeze at the same time. It starts to form a nice cuticle base ready for it to become as smooth and shiny as this. So that's what happens immediately you take it out of the container. But that's exactly what we've done with this one and that's what you're seeing it looking like this. So the next thing you need is like a heat protection spray. And that's what we're going to use now because right now we're going to start blow drying this hair ready for use and once we start we'll just show you a little bit of it and we'll show you when it's completely finished Okay, so you sprayed your heat protector and now you're ready to blow dry and that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so you can see how this is developing now. Now the interesting thing about this hair is we definitely, we did color it. Most hairs come really dark. 
and we enjoy putting a bit of color in our hair so this is what this has given us from really dark to various stages of hint of brown and little hints of blonde and all that well we will in future show you how we color our hair but for now this hair is colored and question was is this virgin hair yes this is um, um indian virgin hair uh, you know how difficult they are to take color but we were able to achieve this amazing color in here so we're gonna carry on with this blow drying process so you can see how this is developing to become really silky smooth and remember this hair is colored so most times you get so confused if you if you had really colored hair and you don't treat it well they become so frizzy and dry but you can see how smooth and silky this is coming out to be now some questions we anticipate you might ask is what's the length of this hair this is a 26 inch hair um how many bundles was used in this week this is four bundles four bundles of 26 with a closure of 18 um, 20 inch closure so that's what this is 20 inch closure see how it's going and then 26 four bundles to give us this amount of volume okay so once you finish blow drying you start flat ironing anyone that you any equipment you like that does your great flat ironing, you just carry on with your flat ironing. Okay, so you can see what this looks like when it's all nicely blow dried and flat ironed. You see how all the frizz has disappeared. And for a colored hair, the moisture in this hair is really amazing. Because normally it will be so dry and breaking, snapping. But no, that's not what you're getting here. The hair is really silky smooth. See that? And especially when it's like all black, you would have appreciated this more. But you can see the shine in the hair. And that's what this video was all about to guide you on how to really keep your hair in top tip top shape so that you're not losing them all the time and keep going on getting new hair all the time I mean you could have as many hairs you like but of course treat them well and they will last you for as long as you want them to I mean the one thing I can say about hair is it does not deteriorate apart from things like the closure that could tear because of the net or the frontal that also tears because of the net the main weft doesn't go bad you can reuse them and re reapply them and do different things with them that's one of the things we are offering here you know caring for your wig in so many different ways so we hope you've really enjoyed this video and we really enjoyed bringing it to you um remember to give us a thumbs up if you liked it and remember to share it with your friends who are struggling to maintain their wigs and remember to subscribe because you know what we're doing here we don't do just one thing we do as many things i'm bringing you as many skills as we can find here in world of braiding we just believe that every skill matters every skill count it doesn't matter how small the skill is it does add up so thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video god bless you